After World War II, the US and the Soviet Union began a space race, which ended with the collapse of the Soviet Union. However, since the 1980s, Communist China has never given up its competition with the US in space. Now China has fully laid out its space plan, but few have noticed. On July 31st, Chinese Communist Party leader Xi Jinping announced the official opening of the Beidou Global Satellite Navigation System, claiming that the system opens a new chapter of high-quality global service for the benefit of mankind. The ambitions of the military-civil dual-purpose Beidou satellite are very high. In December 2014, Chinese official media said that Beidou's military signals already achieved global coverage and can allow the PLA's multiple intercontinental missiles to receive signals from space. It can also split itself into smaller missiles to redirect to multiple specific targets and has acquired the ability to execute a decapitation strike. Before the National Day Ceremony of the Republic of China, Taiwan, on October 10th this year, Chinese official media also reported that the PLA had deployed and test-fired Beidou-guided missiles in Zhejiang province. China 都明确表明中国坚持和平发展道路，反对霸权主义。how is Beidou different from GPS? In 1958, the Chinese Communist Party proposed to overtake Britain and catch up with the United States and regarded the United States as its main imaginary enemy. In fact, the Beidou satellite program has been in full swing since the 1980s. At that time, due to financial and technical constraints, China launched two satellites into high orbit and used an altimeter to locate the satellites. GPS was created by the United States and has been in operation since 1995. There are 30 satellites that can be used by both the military and civilian populations, which for the latter is free and for the benefit of people all over the world. GPS is a unidirectional communication system that transmits signals like a broadcast tower, and the GPS system does not know what equipment is receiving the signals. As for the military GPS, it is only available to the US military and its allies and has a special code to receive the signals. Its accuracy is many times higher than the civilian GPS with an error of less than a meter. If necessary, the US Department of Defense can stop the service to a certain area to protect itself. Unlike GPS satellites, China's satellites were designed as communication satellites from the very beginning, but the first generation of Beidou only had three satellites with very limited communication capability and the positioning range was limited to China. Lacking the technology, China turned its attention to the EU's Galileo project and the EU welcomed Chinese funding. The Galileo system was developed to make high-precision positioning technology available to both civilian and commercial usage, but it also sparked concerns from the US that the system would be exploited and used against the United States and its allies. After rounds of negotiation, in 2004, the two sides reached a consensus and began cooperation with India and South Korea joining the project. Japan, Canada, Australia, and Russia also showed interest in joining the project, but then China was not happy. These countries were all imaginary enemies of the Chinese Communist Party. In January 2008, the CCP-controlled South China Morning Post of Hong Kong reported that China is no longer a Galileo little partner, and Beijing announced later the launch of the second generation of the Beidou to compete with the Galileo system. With technology harvested from Europe, China ramped up funding for the second generation Beidou satellite program. According to international rules, satellite orbits and space frequencies are first come first served, and since most of the orbital track has been occupied by the United States and Russia, China applied for the same orbit and frequency as Galileo. Having abundant funds, China soon launched a number of satellites to occupy the frequency, which triggered discontent from the European Union. At present, there are 35 Beidou satellites in operation. The Beidou system is developed by Chinese PLA for dual use, but it is not free for civilian use. The cost of a 22 nanometer chip for a Beidou terminal is higher than the GPS chip. In order to popularize the system, the Chinese Communist Party first heavily subsidized ocean-going fishing vessels in 2008 by installing terminals on 40,000 fishing vessels for free. Four cents USD is enough to send maritime satellite text messages, making it the cheapest communication satellite system, which is why Chinese ocean-going fishing vessels can be so domineering on the ocean. By April 2019, most of China's government systems, vehicles, infrastructure, and transportation systems are in the Beidou system that is already in use. 
In terms of specifications, although it started 20 years late, Beidou is already a global satellite system similar to Russia's Glossness and also slightly inferior to GPS. In the field of communications, Beidou is conducive to China's promotion of 5G and global development. What's more favorable to China is that the Secretary General of the International Telecommunication Union ITU, Hu Lin Zhao, who took office in 2015, is not only a Chinese national, Chinese media have also reported that Zhao visited China soon after he took office and met Premier Li Keqiang when he said he would strongly support China's 5G and Beidou technologies internationally. The ITU is responsible for setting international rules and standards for telecommunications, including the satellite system. Beidou has now covered the One Belt, One Road countries and has been applied in a variety of fields, including land titling in Indonesia, construction in Kuwait, land testing in Uganda, precision agriculture in Myanmar, offshore piling in the Maldives, warehousing and logistics in Thailand, airport timing in Pakistan, and power inspection in Russia. In 2013, China announced that it would work with countries in the Association of Southeast Asian Nations to assume a network of Earth stations in those countries which would enable it to achieve better satellite accuracy. Due to the two-way nature of the Beidou system, the data from these satellites will eventually flow into China's servers and become a global positioning system and surveillance network, which will also bring great military benefits to China. Currently, China is planning to build the next generation satellite system, which is expected to be completed by 2035. China is a bit of a different situation. Uh, they are, uh, have looked at uh, in using uh, threats against space systems in order to deter the United States from uh, being able to defend our friends and allies in the region. And of course, we're committed uh, to the defense of Japan, our key ally, defense of Australia, and defense of other countries in the region. The U.S. has taken notice of the Chinese Communist Party's ambitions in recent years. With President Donald Trump announcing the establishment of a space force last December, a new military force with a mission to protect U.S. communications and surveillance satellites and other U.S. assets in space. We all recognize, it's been frankly true for decades, in his words, space is a war-fighting domain. The United States Space Force will ensure that uh, our nation is prepared to defend our people to defend our interests and defend our values. Earlier this year, President Trump made it the policy of this administration to return to the moon by 2024 and ensure that the next man and the first woman on the moon will be American astronauts. On October 12th, the U.S. Defense officially opened a partnership with SpaceX to study joint cargo transportation efforts using the private spaceflight company Starship Rockets. In fact, satellite orbits are divided into low, medium, and high. The higher the orbit, the number of satellites required is less, and the cost and technical requirements are lower. Currently in operation, the US GPS, EU Galileo, Russia GLONASS, and China Beidou are all medium orbit satellites. But now, a new low orbital satellite system is emerging, Starlink by SpaceX. Its goal is to provide high-speed internet service to locations where internet service is unreliable, expensive, or completely non-existent. SpaceX has planned to launch 12,000 satellites, in which 775 satellites have been launched so far. It will be the first low-orbit communication satellite system. Moreover, many experts have noted that Starlink's technology far surpasses all existing satellite technology and has the ability to break through the network blockade of countries like China. It also puts the CCP on high alert, which since the beginning of this year, Beijing has started a massive search and destruction of satellite receivers installed by civilians. While the CCP is denying Chinese people free access to information, it is also developing a dual-purpose global satellite system and publicly stating that its intercontinental missiles can therefore cover the globe. These actions do not appear to be for the welfare and peace of mankind, as Xi Jinping claims, but rather for other purposes. Now that the Beidou system has been deployed, only the United States has the ability to constrain it. 